Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today's topic of discussion is about gaps and essentially what is my favorite uh, way of profiting from the gap because try to understand gaps can be one of the most profitable, if you know how to trade a gap, it can be one of the most profitable ways to make money uh, from a trend. So uh, whenever I talk about gaps or when you hear about gaps, two questions always come to our mind. The first question is, what kind of gap is it? Uh, is it a breakaway gap? measuring gap, exhaustion gap, common gap, because every gap has different characteristics. And the second question is, once the gap, what kind of gap it is, has been identified, how do you make money of it? Do you buy right away when the gap up or a gap down occurs, or do you wait for the initial fading in, then take up entry? Because if you are unclear of what it is, when the gap takes place, you, you don't have too much time to think and you make some wrong mistakes. And often you take too much risk than what is warranted on that particular trade. So I'm going to try to explain all these concepts in brief and then focus on the strategy that I want to uh, talk about in detail at the near the end of the video. Uh, the strategy that I would be using will be David Landry's explosion gap pivot. This will be uh, my adaptation of his concept back in 2003. I think it's uh, worth the merit and worth the hype that uh, it should be. So first of all, what are gaps? Uh, briefly, if today's low is higher than yesterday's high, that would be a gap up and the price vacuum or the place where no shares have exchanged hands, that would be a gap. And the second thing is if today high is lower than the yesterday low, that will be a gap down that the place where no shares have exchanged uh, hands or that vacuum is going to be a gap up or a gap down. Uh, essentially, uh, one very important understanding is that this price vacuum uh, or a gap tends to act as a very important support or resistance in the future as well. So that's something you should keep it in your minds. Though, so once you've understood what a gap is, what kind of gaps can be there in the market, I do have this picture of Wikipedia, which, uh, which probably should answer all your questions. See, there are four types of gaps, uh, and I'll be focusing on the breakaway gap in a little bit. The first kind of a gap is a common gap. Uh, for example, let's say you have, a, like in the photo, you can see you have a rectangle or a box kind of a pattern and any gaps in that formation is a pattern gap. They generally get filled and they can be ignored. They're not important. Another example would be, let us say a, a stock trading at 5,000 rupees or, uh, or, or a stock trading at a huge amount and a gap up or a gap down taking place of, let's say two rupees, three rupees, which is very insignificant to the price of that stock. So that will also be a common gap. Again, not important, generally filled and can be ignored. The other type of gap is a breakaway gap. And these are uh, occurrences when the prices will gap up or gap down and they will start a new trend. So I'll talk about that in detail in a little bit. The third type of gap is a measuring gap. This would be, why is it called a measuring gap? It's very simple because they take place when the trend is very strong, not too many pull, pullbacks or throwbacks, not too many corrections within that trend. And generally, the distance from the starting of the trend towards the gap can be projected upwards. So this will basically take place at the halfway of the trend. So just to give you an instance, uh, the price movement from my cursor to the gap is about 50% of the trend. So if this is, let's say, 10 rupees, then 10 rupee movement upside is also going to take place. So basically, they take place in the middle of the price trend. That's why they're called measuring gaps. The third, the fourth and final type of gap is called an exhaustion gap and they generally take place at the end of the trend. So right, lo looking, right at the, looking at the hint hindsight, you can know if it is a measuring gap or an ex exhaustion gap. But when it's happening in the live market, you don't have a lot of uh, understanding or evidence whether it is an exhaustion gap or a measuring gap because both of them have very similar characteristics. The only difference is I would say that the exhaustion gap eventually will get filled this means that finally the trend is about to reverse or is losing its steam, but the measuring gaps do not get filled. So if, if the measuring gap, you think it's a measuring gap, and if it gets filled, that's an exhaustion gap, so it'll be a sign of caution. So that's the basic idea of what gaps are. If you can look at the screen right now, I also have a chart of Bank Nifty, a daily chart, and you can clearly see something that happened in 23rd, uh, uh, December 23. And uh, you can clearly see how, if I can just quickly draw a resistance level over here, you can also kind of uh, look at it as a inverse or a, or a bottom head and shoulders. And finally, when the neckline was broken of this head and shoulders approximately, this happened with a gap and this was a breakaway gap because that 
essentially started the trend. And if you see later on, this vacuum became a very important support and that support was held on and finally the markets are where, where they are at right now. So just kind of concluding my earlier portion and finally coming to breakaway gaps, the strategy that I want to discuss about. So whenever a gap takes place, that vacuum becomes a very important support resistance and the subsequent action must be very closely analyzed, whether it is being filled, whether it is not being filled, because that can give you a lot of information about what's going on and how do you trade on it. So coming to the point of discussion, breakaway gap, which is something that you see on the screen right now. Breakaway gap is a gap which will occur generally when a pattern is completed and the boundaries of that pattern have been penetrated. Any pattern, double top, double bottom, your triangles, your, I don't know, broadening patterns, diamond, whatever kind of patterns you want to use, head and shoulders, flags, pennants. So when the boundaries, generally they take place when the pattern is completed and the boundaries are penetrated. So the boundaries are not penetrated during the market, but generally overnight. So that is why a gap takes place. So when these gaps happen, they tell you that a new trend is about to begin in the direction of the gap. So for example, if for, let's take an example of a, of a flag, okay. I'm very sorry, I don't have my equipment, so my drawings will be really pathetic. But let us say you have a very steep price movement and the market starts to consolidate like a flag. You have a pattern resistance, a pattern support, and eventually the, the pattern was not broken during live market. But on the next day, the market gapped up. So this was a breakaway gap. And this tells you that majority of the times or more probably than not, the breakout or the trend is now in the direction of the gap so on the upside if this so so some conditions have to be understood for breakaway gaps number one breakaway gaps do not get filled if a breakaway gap is getting filled then it is not a breakaway gap and generally if a breakaway gap is getting filled that is what we call a specialist breakout please google that in very simple terms a specialist breakout is a false breakout or in this case would be like a bull trap and whenever a, a you can say a a breakaway gap is getting filled, it will lead to a very equally and a very large explosive move in the opposite direction of the gap. So now the trend will not begin in the direction of the gap, but it will begin in the direction of the fill, which is the opposite direction of the gap. So again, these are also uh, instances that do happen, but my focus is not on them right now. So just be aware that breakaway gaps, when they take place, they don't get filled. If they get filled, be cautious because you'll have a reversal movement equally strong movement in in uh, uh, in the in the making the second thing is a breakaway gap is not just for example markets are moving and a gap up ho gaya to breakaway gap nahi for a breakaway gap the condition that i would like to follow is a new high must be made over the last 20 days so for example take this again uh, a very awkward looking head and shoulders inverse head and shoulders now you can see the price of 44 or 45,000, for example, example was never broken over the last three months from September, October, November, this level was not broken. And finally, when the gap up took place, the prices were higher than the last 20 days. So that in my opinion is a very important condition because if you want a new trend to begin, that today gap up is the price is higher than yesterday. I mean, that is good, but not so important. But if I can get a gap up exceeding the last 20 days of prices, that will be another tick mark. So it'll be like a setup working for me. So number one, the gaps don't get filled. These breakaway gaps. Number two, I need a new high over the last 20 days. So then the gap up that takes place, that is something I need to focus on. So now let's come to David Landry's method. Again, crazy guy, massive respect to this person. This concept is from 2003. So now I'm teaching you this after 21 years of it, it being in existence. I still think not a lot of people use this, but I think it deserves a lot of merit because it can give you very important uh, characteristics and uh, risk, uh, where risk needs to be placed, how much reward needs to be there, uh, good entry criteria, etc. And it will create, clear out a lot of, uh, I, I would say, uh, misunderstanding or confusion that exists because of gaps. So what David Landry said is, he said, let's use a concept called explosion gap pivot, EGP. Now what explosion gap pivot is that whenever there is a breakaway gap, conditions are same. New high of last 20 days doesn't get filled. He said, whenever there is a breakaway gap, don't trade immediately. 
इफ यू ट्रेड इमीजिएटली नंबर वन योर थिंक अबाउट दिस यार आपका एक पैटर्न बन रहा है एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हेड एंड शोल्डर वेरी पुअर ड्रॉइंग बट लेट्स मार्केट आर ओपनिंग ओवर हेयर इफ यू बाय राइट ओवर देयर probably you are entering at a place where the trend might be due for a for a small corrective action or a small throwback and then eventually moving in the direction that also could not be a criteria maybe the market is so strong it goes up without fading away but let us say when a break away the gap takes place there will be some people who would like to exit overnight profit think about the weak hands they got an overnight profit 50% gain overnight holding an option why will they not exit because of because thoda sa bhi move aata hai they panic so what david landry said is he said whenever a break away gap takes place don't enter on the gap up because number one initial fading could take place and number two your risk is not justified over here because reward could be less on that particular day but risk is massive because risk kya hota hai stop loss kya hota hai this i told you break away gaps don't get filled so stop loss kya hoga at the place where the gap gets filled so in very simple terms if you didn't understand that if let us say price is ye kal ka price tha and today you're opening gap up so this is the price vacuum or the gap if break away gap is taking place then your stop loss is at the place or the lower extreme of the gap at the place where the gap is filled because agar fail ho jayega then an equally very sharp move on the opposite direction will take place what david landry said is you need to wait for the initial fading so i'll open a picture for you this will just quickly resolve all the problems that you have now look at this example ye aapka ek consolidation chal raha hai and then you got a gap up this is the lower extreme of the gap which is the most important support and this is the upper extreme of the gap theek hai once the prices are opening above that so now you have a very big break away gap ho gaya it's a new high in the last 20 days so up now this is a intraday chart or daily chart depending upon what you are trading you don't enter right away what you will be doing is you are waiting for the initial fading in so that you get a pivot pivot matlab kya hota hai pivot is not only a candlestick which will have or a bar chart bar and bar bar chart which will have a one candle below before it and one candle after it having higher lows i'll again repeat a pivot is a concept in explosion gap pivot of a candle jab aapka break away gap banta hai and then there is some initial profit booking because of that huge gap up there will be a candle or there will be a bar which will have a low which is lower than the previous low and also lower than the low ahead of it i hope you're understanding so this is sort of a pivot ki yaar kahin yaar isko support mil gaya hai isse pehle wala candle ka higher low tha iske baad ka candle iska higher low hai that is called a pivot not only that is the use of it the other use it are in the future if that level is again seen this generally acts as support or resistance so that also you can remember for uh, not only trading the gap but also in the future if that level comes this becomes a very important support resistance support in this case so explosion gap pivot may you wait for the initial fading aapka ek pivot low banega and aapka ek ye formation complete so when do you know the pivot low has been made you will know the pivot low has been made only when the next candle has been formed because when the next candle is completed then you know i have a higher low ahead of it i have a higher low before it so mera pivot low ban gaya what you need to do is the next candle that has been formed which is confirming the pivot low uska jo high price hoga usko aap buy entry stop laga do entry stop is different from exit stop exit stop is like a protective stop jo aapka yahan chart pe likha hai entry stop is when that price is going to be ticked i will go long as simple as that so the high of the candle up after the pivot low that will be your entry stop loss so whenever this high is going to get broken that is where you will go long your stop loss in this case you can either put it at the pivot low or you can put it at the lower extreme or the place where the gap is going to generally get filled if you take my opinion generally pivot low can get penetrated again in the future it might not be so simple of the case in the future the pivot low before breaking out the pivot low could be penetrated so you can depending upon volatility if let us say not a lot of volatility is there low volatility hai then maybe pivot low could become st your stop loss but in most of the cases if pivot low is broken the trade is still intact 
but generally you would want the protective stock to be at the lower end of the gap because if that is filled then the concept is only over because then an equally fast move it will become a setup in itself if that lower gap is filled then you need to be looking for a shorting opportunity i hope it is clear so just to conclude uh, this concept i would like you all to try this also on your respective markets and asset classes you are waiting for a breakaway gap you are not entering a breakaway gap right away 20 day higher gap should not get filled you wait for the initial fading in of the breakaway gap you have a pivot low which is formed which has higher low on both the sides the next candle which confirms the pivot low the high of that candle will become your buy entry so when that candle is when that high let us say this level is 100 so when that 100 is broken in the future on this candle yahan pe aapne long karna hai and your stop loss will be either at the pivot low or at the lower end of the gap, whatever you find useful. And of course, when your entry is successful, you can keep on trailing your stop loss by whatever means that you are using. So this is the concept of explosion gap pivot by David Landry. As I said earlier, it's very powerful, deserves a lot of merit. Do your back testing on it. And I am very sure that uh, you will be surprised to see the results because now finally you have some sort of setup I would give you that what to do when a gap takes place. Because generally, in even in your indices, gap up, gap downs are happening on an everyday basis. And if it is a breakaway gap, when do I buy Nifty? When do I sell Nifty? This will give you logic. This will give you protective uh, levels. And uh, accordingly, you can uh, use it uh, according to your time horizon of your, as, as your, whether you're a trader, whether you're an investor, you can use it as per your time horizon. That's all from my end today. I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.